Uh, what's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin Murphy here, and today we are bringing some more battles by battles, which I haven't done in the past few days. Anyway, here I have for me my team I used in the f previous Wi Fi battles. I have my Cosagius carrying leftovers, I have my Lucario carrying the expert belt, I have my Dedene, which is my little wildcard Pokemon here, carrying the Citrus Berry, who has Nuzzle, Charm, Grass Knot, and now Super Fang. We have our Electros here carrying the Assault Vest, as I remember putting it on this time. I have my Meta Meta Jam, Mega Meta Jam, Kiss English right now, and I also have my Tire Rantrum, who's here to set up some stuff for us, which may not be useful here on Battle Spot, but it has the Dragon Dance, Ice Fang, and Crunch setup with the Strong Jaw, which I am a big fan of, as I got to test, to test it out a little bit against some trainers in game. So, um, yeah, we're gonna hop right into it. I did level these guys up to 50, unlike the last battle spot group I brought in, so everyone is able to participate this time. Last time we did battle spot, we went 2 and 1, which isn't bad at all when you think about the long term. As we started this series, I wanted to, we brought it back 2 and 1, make this 3 and 6. So, if we were able to theoretically get 3 wins, we can bring our record up to a neutral 6 and 6, have us a 0.500 percentile win loss ratio. As my opponent is bringing in a Lucario, a Dragonite, Snorlax, Gengar, Sableye, and Alakazam. So there's four potential Megas here. There's one Pokemon with multi-scale for sure. And then there is Snorlax, which is pretty interesting to see. At first glance, this team does scream out, bring Kefragigus, because Kefragigus could burn anything on this team and have fun minus the Sableye, because we don't want to mess risk the chance that it is a Mega. Manicham will like this team a lot, minus the Dragon Knight, but a fake out on the Dragon Knight to break the multi-scale will be nice, and I think Tyrantrum will also like to come here. But to mix things up, I'm going to bring Grafagrigus, bring the Dene, and Tyrantrum. That way, if my opponent was doing something crazy, we still have the Super Fang in the background. If he brings the Gengar and the Sableye, we'll be in a little bit of trouble but it wouldn't be the worst case scenario. Alright. My opponent Thoss is issuing a challenge. He's bringing up the Dragonite early on. Wow. Okay. Assuming he's going for the D-Dance, I say he go for the Willow. He's going for the T-Wave. Interesting. This could be a bulky Dragonite. This reminds me a lot of my battle with Nightmare. One of my first Wi-Fi battles on this channel, actually. But we're both trading off some um, statuses, so... This is a very beneficial turn for us, because we're we're not the fastest Pokemon. But my opponent did heal it up with a Lumberry, which I did expect to see in the Dragonite. Because Lumberry and Weakness Policy are some of the most common things you'll see. As we go for the Outrage, perfect. We could bring in the Dene. As we're getting the Multiscale gone. That, that is a really solid turn for us. You know, instead of actually bringing in... Well, we can bring in the Nidank because... But is it worth it, you know? I say we stay in. And we go for... The... Pain Split, because if he switches up... He can't switch out because of Outrage. See, this is what I was caught in the crosswords. I can either bring the Dene in and... Get rid of the outrage. But I stay again to get a pain split off. It's actually doing us some good wonders. As we're getting some leftovers recovery, and our opponent is also being dwindled down by the burn, and eventually is going to become confused. Okay. Alright, now I want to go for the hex. Because this is going to be some massive damage. Alright, Confactor, guess you can live this. Let's go. I wonder if Hex will do times 4 now because... Oh my god! Oh, that para. That would be so interesting to see how much damage we'd have got. Okay, let's switch out. I say we bring in... The Dene. I know my opponent is gonna... Nope, my opponent did switch. Huh, really interesting. 
when do they know the Dene is part fairy? That's to be out of curiosity. Alright guys, confused, and it hit itself in confusion, and the burn. So out of here. Alright. So that insult to injury, we're going for the grass knot. If I don't think he's gonna switch out. Unless Dragon Outrageous is only move. I was almost said Dragon Dance. Which this thing could possibly have. And my opponent is from New Zealand. Nice. He stays in while confused. He hid himself in confusion. And that's the end of Dragonite. That was really fun. We got the 3-2 advantage right now. We unfortunately showed off our grass nut. Well, at least it shows that the Dene has some tech. Alright, now it's a Lucario. My plan here is to go for the nuzzle. And we all speed and we get the nuzzle off. The Dene, you speedy little bugger you. We get a crit on the nuzzle. Which kinda doesn't mean much because we got what we needed, which was the power. And we got the Iron Tail Void. That is really clutch. So let's go for charm now. Alright. We got cheek pass as well, so if he brings it out to citrus, we're gonna get three fourths of our HP back instead of one half. I think that's how it works. I mean we could get a half of our HP back instead of a quarter, I believe. Now we go for the super fang. Hopefully my opponent switches. If so, that'll be so clutch, because we'll put us in a very comfortable position. As we still have the fact gets in the back who's ready to rock and roll, and we still have our Tyrantrum. Let's go the Dene! My opponent is going for close combat while minus two. Nice! The bulk of the Dene is real. Alright, now my opponent is losing HP because he's life orb. Wow, that just shows you what the Dene is capable of. Alright, I say we go for I say we switch out into Kefagigus. My opponent must be discouraged from Iron Tail, or I guess he predicted me to go into anything else if he went for the close combat. My opponent went for the bullet punch, so not a bad switch on my end, but he did get a crit, as we're taking away his Justify from Mummy. Okay. And we're getting our HP back with leftovers. This is really interesting how we're turning Bulk into our most offensive set tech out here in the field. And our opponent really has no answer to this, which is what I'm really excited about. Because we're battling the Lucario Life Orb, and we took on a Dragon Knight, and he missed another Iron Tail. I am sorry, my opponent, but we're para. So this is kind of a waste of a turn for everyone. Just a waste of a few seconds for my viewers. I guess we're the only ones, I guess, who are affected by this. But... My opponent now gets his Iron Tail off, and he connects, but that minus two is doing us some real good damage, as the first drop came in on us. My opponent takes some life for damage, and we're getting the KO with this Hex. Alright, bye bye Lucario. That was fun. Okay, let's see who our next opponent is going to be, or our next Pokemon we're battling. And it's Alakazam. Interesting. I guess we're not out of the neck of the woods yet. I guess we go for Hex and we hope for the best. As is Mega Alakazam. Okay. Okay, I see you, Mega Alakazam. He went for the trace and he has our mummy. Oh, God. Oh, God. That means we can't. Huh. Alright, the Dene. You're gonna get off bed most likely. But that's okay. Because you're not still a cute little mousy. But I need you to go for a nuzzle. Oh, yeah, we don't battle test people. Sorry, I just never really saw like the importance of battle testing for a lot of opponents, I've noticed. But I guess. I know a few people who do it, but it's not my cup of tea. Then again, I never did it, but the day just went down. Oh god, we're not out of this yet. Oh boy, we need a strong jaw. Oh god. 
Please. Please don't have anything crazy. Please don't have a dazzling gleam. Please do not have dazzling gleam. Oh my god, this is this is intense. Oh boy, we should buy No nah, not many many champ. Pretty much anyone on our team besides the Electros would like to battle this Alakazam. As we go for a focus blast and a hit! What is this? Come on! Man, we were doing so good until that. Uh, we're 3 and 7 now. Alright, let's do two more battles. Not, uh, talk about that insult to injury. Man, the Dene is putting in a lot of good work too. Same for Kafragagus. And unfortunately Tyrantrum again cannot be able to utilize his abilities the way I want it to be. Which is starting to seem like it's starting to become a common theme I've noticed in my last few battles. <sighs> Alright. Well at least we're not in the worst position ever. This could be really worse, as in we could have we still had two more battles, let's just say that. Anything can happen in these next two battles. So I'm not going to think about the negatives as opposed to focusing on the future. As we're waiting for another opponent. Hopefully we can find someone in the battle. Hmm. Alright, we found someone from Japan, Yogo. It's at 1293. I wonder why. He has a Golurk. He has a Hydreigon, a Haxorus, Sigilith. I think I know what the figure is going to do. A Lucario and a Star Raptor. Really interesting. This battle looks like I really want to bring in the Dene as it can handle most of the tech here. I want to bring Electros as well because like we may need some special prowess here. And we do have Flamethrower for the Lucario. We have Charge Beam and it's Volt Switch for the Star Raptor. We have Giga Drain to get some good HP off of this Golurk, which is slower than us. And I think, hmm, I think if we get a D dance off a Tyrantrum, we can win. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I want to set the tone with the Dene, bring Electros for support, and we'll bring Tyrantrum to hopefully set up a D dance. And it's funny with all the Mega Metatam <laughs> and Lucario get a chance at battling yet. I mean, it's not like I am purposely not trying to use them. It's that uh, some of these matches I feel like aren't going to utilize their abilities the best. At least in the 3v2 format. You see my battle with Kane, spoiler alert, my Mega Metatam, which I said correctly, was able to put in a lot of good work against my opponent okay we're gonna go for super fang my opponent's withdrawal so something's gonna lose half his HP let's see what it's gonna be and oh my god oh my god they got me with that alright switch it to electros cause they're gonna go for the ground type move most likely Yep, they went for Earthquake. We gotta levitate though. Alright, this is gonna be a switch out fest. So I'm going for the flamethrower. My opponent is going for dynamic punch. He's going straight power. That didn't do too much. But we're confused. Oh god. We get the flamethrower off. Okay, okay, okay. And we get the burner! Oh my god, that was clutch. We needed that. We needed that. Oh god. Now we gotta go for Giga Drain to get rid of this Golurk. I'm glad to see that they aren't bringing three dragons, which kind of worried me while I was bringing this team. My opponent switches out into the Sigilus. Oh, Hydreigon! And we snap out of confusion and we get the Drain Pump. We get the Giga Drain. Alright, on the off chance that my opponent decides to go for Earth Power or Flash Cannon, we're going to stay in and we're going to go for the Charge Beam. Oh, he goes for the Dark Pulse. Good thing we are carrying that AV, but they avoid. 
Oh boy. Alright, um. We gotta have all switch out. Opponent goes for another. Dark Pulse. He gets a crit. I think we would have lived that. Honestly. I think we would have lived it. Alright, this is a bold prediction. And it will make or break the game. Nope, never mind. It's not worth it. I say we go for the grass knot. And my opponent stays in. Wow, my opponent is ballsy. And I think he's traced into Dark Pulse. That's exactly what it looks like. And as we're getting off our Cheek Pell Citrus Berry. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's nuzzle. My opponent forfeited the match. Wow. I don't know why they had the advantage. So I guess we... That was really interesting. And then they got the W. Let's go. I'll take it. That was really interesting. I don't know why my opponent forfeited. I mean, I guess we burned. And they burned it. They were traced to Dark Pulse. And I guess they were fearing us to go for the Super Fang on the Seagullus. Which would have ruined the setup of burning into the Cosmic Power, into Stored Power, I believe it's called. I forgot the move was called, but I've done this before in battles where I've used the Seagullus and done that setup, which is why I kind of anticipated to come. But this battle, I think I'm going to bring Metacham and Lucario, which is going to be most vulnerable. But if I bring him, I most likely have to bring my Cofagus, not only because it's a special attacker, but because it covers up some of their weaknesses. Electros also wouldn't be bad, because at least we have that Levitate, because, well, ground types are very common. And they're like, we're not big. <laughs> well, my opponent has a Talonflame, a Bastiodon, an Aegislash, a Latios, really interesting. They have a Jolteon, and a Kangaskhan, most likely Mega. If it's not Mega, then slap me silly. I want to bring... Huh. We could bring Lucario, I can see that working out. Wait, we can bring Metacham, better yet. We'll bring Metacham. Meta we'll bring the Dinning. And, uh... You know, I am really fixated on Tyrantrum doing some work. So we'll also bring Tyrantrum. Alright. We got our teams locked in. So let's see what my opponents bring a Joan Pa. Good luck. And let's have us a fun battle. For so one and one right now, technically. Because my opponent forfeited it. I'm still scratching my head on that one. I mean, maybe I'm missing the picture, but... I mean, the battle was far from over on either side. So my opponent leading the bastard by Shiny. Okay, I'm not going to call Hacker. But I have... After what happened last night with me and a few friends, I could tell that someone is not bringing some legitimate Pokemon. Power Saves or PK Hex or whatever. It's kind of obvious when someone is hacking. Alright. Pretty simple, we go for the charm. Alright, Master Dive Attack hurts we fail. Alright. Now things get interesting, we're going for Super Fang. If we get a Super Fang off on this thing, that's going to be pretty clutch. I don't know why opponents set up. Well, wow, we're, we're playing really well against this thing. Alright. We're going to go for Grass Knot. And we're going to get some damage off. I don't know how much, but we're going to get some damage. Okay, that's not bad for uh, the DNA in my eyes. And we took that really well. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, we'll switch out into Metacham. I say we'll go for Mega Evolve Fake Out. And my opponent seems... I don't know if my opponent feels about... 
Okay. Really interesting. He likes to use that metal burst. Mega evolve. You know what? Mega evolve into the fire punch. We're going rogue. He did not switch out. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hit or miss for us. Can we get the KO? I mean, my opponent is minus two, but Metal Burst is based on what we do. Okay, that wasn't the most damage in the world. But he got a huge hit. Oh boy. Alright, now we're gonna go for another Fire Punch. Switch out, switch out, switch out. You know you wanna. Nope. My opponents really do not like this. Well, pony number two switched out fairly bit. Kinda switched out into our tech, but it was it was still switching out nonetheless. Alright. Really weird start to the battle. Yep. I'm calling Hacker, but there's no big, no worries, we're going to try to win this battle. We're going for the Bullet Punch. Let's see how much damage we get off. Ooh, nice chunk. My opponent goes for a Side Shock. This should most likely knock us out, and it does. Alright. Let's bring in the Dene back. And we're going to go for... The obvious play of Nuzzle. Come on, today, no. No, today, no, no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's hope we can live whatever. My opponent goes went for side shock. I guess they're true specs. And we're living. We're living with the D dance. Okay, this is this is our sweet moment. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, um as your move will be super effective damage, but I think Crunch has more damage, but I'm just being safe. And yep. Like we're going for crunch. Life orb crunch. My opponent is it scarfed? He doesn't, but we're gonna go down to the damage. Oh my god. I hate that Latios. We're four and eight now. Oh god, it's gonna take at least two more episodes to catch up to that record. Oh god. I don't even know what my opponent's last Pokemon was. Man, it's not like we could play that any better either. I guess switching out the Dene would have been a better play instead of taking a Metal Burst, but... I don't know, man. Alright. Well, like, that's the end of things. So, um, I want to thank everyone for watching. We did do some interesting things. Tyrantrum finally got a KO. Um, the Dene did a really good job in these battles. And I am also really... Please with how Electros and Kofagra gets helped out in Lucario. I'm sorry we didn't get you in here, but I promise next time we're going to get you some battles. Anyway, people, you guys should definitely check out my Twitter and my Twitch, because interesting things are going to be happening soon. You should check out a lot of people who I've battled in the past, because they got some really good content. And um, I got to get out of here. The gates of hell are open over there, and I got to close them. So, bye.